Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, market cap just under 260 billion. Went for a ride yesterday. Had a, pretty much just a, a big pump. Now we're back to where we probably were around Monday. Um, videos are coming out a little bit later. The backgrounds make the video twice as big and the internet's not so good right now. So not so much good morning, good morning. Probably won't see this till probably 2 p.m. But um, Bitcoin's showing just under 7,000. And you know, this is a good time. It's been a good time for, you know, my traders and even some of my friends who are dabbling in trading, um, just buying the, you know, buying the dips and selling the, selling the pumps. And <clears throat> if you're dealing with small capital, you're just trying to, you know, double what you have, triple what you have, just, you know, the waters have been nice and choppy. Um, so I, um, I, I ran a little Twitter poll if people c could guess 20 of my coins. I said I had 27 coins. They could guess 20 then I would show my portfolio and the percentages, not the, not, not how much money's involved, just the percentages and break down all my portfolio. If they guessed 21, I'd give the first one that did that $2,500. Um, contest has ended, but you know, I do little things like that on my Twitter. Um, I thought it'd be kind of fun, try to have something going during this downturn, but um, you know, I, I don't really necessarily tell, say when I sell, when I get out of a position. Like, I may get out of a coin, but I don't want to tell people I'm selling because, you know, I don't know. I don't want people to dump the coin and or um, it's really nobody's business. Like, I'll come out if I was in a previous coin that I got out of because I thought, like, it was a either a scam or a bad coin or something, you know, just not going to do well. I'll make that announcement just to try to, you know, look out for people that may have followed my path, but I do a lot of behind the scenes things. And a lot of my trades are over the counter now. I don't really mess with exchanges too much. I do when I have to. Like recently, um, I, I have a new addition. This this coin has been a, a Zen move for a while for me. Um, wax. And I've been looking at it. Oh, see, the internet's just out of there. Not, not working. All right, we're going to have to chill. I think my internet's out right now. But we're, we're, we're going to survive, peeps. Anyway, I got wax. Luckily, it's a top 100 coin, I believe. Let's see. All right, where's wax? Here we go. 95. Um, it, it did a nice little pump last night. A lot of coins did. But um, I got in Monday. And what it hit me, because wax had already been a Zen move, because I um, a lot of people, a lot of my friends, investors really are big on it. It never really hit me, but yesterday I just, I was watching somehow, I don't know how it happened. I was watching Drake and the uh, Ninja play Fortnite and Drake had his skin and they had all these skins and they kept talking about like different skins and different designs. And I was remembering wax is op skins, right? So, you know, they have 40 million and 400 million in revenue. They have a bunch of bunch of people already signed up and what they do is they trade skins on the inside you know games like designs a skin is basically like a suit or something for a game it had so many views and i could just see like this is the future you're getting these ultra big hip-hop people you're getting a bunch of celebrities this is what's going to happen the gaming industry is just going to keep growing and growing and growing and a coin like wax which is just a marketplace it's like a it's like a binance for erc 21 items which are basically in-game items that are on the Ethereum blockchain, but they aren't like tokens that you would trade on Binance. So you need something like Wax, and the industry is huge. So it became, and I didn't take, you know, I, 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 I took a, a nice little chunk, boosted the price a nice bit, but I, that's why I don't like buying on exchanges if I don't have to. You know, at the time, it was, it was like 600,000 24-hour volume or something. So it doesn't take much to, to boost it. And so, like, let's say I wanted to get in. That sucks. I wanted to show today. I wanted to show how to mess with how to play the order books. Because when I went in Monday, it was a spear. 
I throw a lot of spears. I don't recommend throwing spears, though, because you can easily fuck up. It took a lot of research and a lot, you know, I have a team behind me. It's just, it's not fair. Just don't throw spears. I always recommend saying lures. You're going to miss out on some things. That's fine. You have to you have to zen that sometimes. But I threw a spear, and I was going to tell people how I was going to throw a spear, but I can't even bring up the order book. Oh, well, whatever. If we're going to have a video today. Um, basically, you work the order book. And you don't want to come out and, and have your whole load all on one. Because, like, let's say I want to come out and I wanted to buy 10 BTC of wax. Well, I wouldn't just put a 10 BTC buy order. Because that's going to cause a pump. Because then people are going to pile over in front of you. You have to do it little by little, right? That's why it sucks doing it on the exchanges. Because it takes some finessing. You know, I would maybe do a half a Bitcoin. And then, you know, and just keep on. And it takes time. It's a time thing. You're not going to just be able to get it all on load. If you're impatient, you're going to pay more. A lot of people are impatient to end up paying more. Um, I do a lot of over-the-counter trades. That's how I do. If I was to ever um, do a large deal with any of my stuff, any of my things, I have you know I, I I have connections everywhere. And when it comes to people wanting to buy crypto, so if I ever want to move positions or trade coins, which I do a lot, um, I wouldn't say a lot, but I do it. You know, when I do it, that's the preferred method. Anyway, so wax is not a Zen move anymore. Um, I have my first step, and you know I I am I. Wax is going to be up there with Syscoin. It's going to be on my mid tier. I haven't checked if anybody wanted Twitter yet, but um, I'll, I'll check and see if they did. I'd be surprised. It'd be awesome if someone did. But Wax is a mid tier for me. This isn't a you know this isn't a small swing. So you know I'm buying some. I still have I would say 75 percent more to go on what I want to do with my bag. But I fill my bag over time. That's another thing. I don't, oh, I don't, even if I FOMO, I like something really good because I'm sold on wax. I'm not going to just buy all at once because you never know when the market's going to dip. And if you have to pay a little bit more, that's fine because then it made, then it's made progress and what you have has appreciated. Um, it's just, you know, it, it just doesn't make sense to me to buy all at once unless you just have some solid inside information. When you're in a market like this, when it can easily go lower, I just like to build my positions over time because this could be, we don't know how long this is going to last. And if I ever get the sense that, oh man, you know, it's about to, it's about to explode, which is very risky because, you know, anything can happen. You know, you might think, oh man, the market's about to explode and FOMO and just go all in on a coin or whatever and then be sad if it goes down the next day. That's why, you know, I'm just, a, I, I'm a fan of just principles. Principles aren't fancy. They're not sexy, but they get me through my life. I miss out on a lot, but I keep a lot. You know, I keep my ground with, with my principles. It's like walking through a storm and you have this stick. That's what I'm doing. I'm keeping, I'm keeping my, well, let's, let's just go straight to it, guys. We can't, the internet's out. We're just, we're just recording. Um, one of the things, so that, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, just buy over time. Don't put all your load on the front of the order book. That's if you're, if you're spear fishing or whatever. Um, this is a good time to spear fish if you know what you're doing because these chops, for me, it's been good. You know, that it can, it can turn bad tomorrow. So far, it has been good. It's been a good opportunity for a lot of people that I know. Um, one of the things I was talking about with one of my friends who got a deep conversation is, um, so we need to make it easier to buy as, as a community, as a crypto, I need to buy these tokens. Like, let's say I wanted a civic, um, I want to use a civic service. Then what do I have to really go to an exchange? Um, exchanges are for the traders, but we need something like a retail where people are just going to pay a slight bit more. And I know they have things like that coin payments. They have the, the, the things emerging, but I think there needs to be, you know, that's, the, that's the direction it needs to expand and it will expand. And once that does, you have these sort of retail merchants that make it really easy to get all your favorite services. If you need civic service, here you go. You just pay a little bit of a premium. And then the exchanges are the back end, like the back end of a Rolex where all the traders and all the crazy hecticness happens, right? That's behind the scenes. Nobody wants to get into that. They just want to use the service. Now everybody's traders and everybody wants to get into something. You know, some people just want to use the service. So once you start to see that happening, that's going to be great. I was going to get into, um, there's the deconomy. Um, I'm not finished watching all of it, but it's been pretty good. Um, there's been a lot of, <laughs> there was that one, if you, I'm sure people saw what Vitalik did, but that shit's like pay-per-view, man. I want to watch all of it. I haven't been able to find all of it. I've just been able to get into sections. But um, basically, when people ask me why I have Bitcoin Cash, I just say because I don't want to get caught with my pants down. Right now, we're in a big revolution, and I'm not sure what's going to work. I'm not a scientist. Yeah, sidechains, 
Vitalik like sidechains, Bitcoin, uh, Blockstream like sidechains, a lot of big, a lot of companies like sidechains. When you think of it from a perspective to have the entire world, you know, everything from crypto kitties to everything on a chain, you're going to need sidechains for that because there's just so many humans doing so many different transactions. That's what you would think. However, Bitcoin Cash is like, dude, we're just going to have terabyte blocks. And what's going to happen is each country is going to have one or two big miners countries don't really work together well like the u.s and china aren't going to work good right you know china might have their eastern and west and there might be a western but you know places like north korea aren't gonna gang up with australia that's the whole mentality that's what they're thinking they're thinking like all these countries aren't going to include together so eventually their vision is there's going to be big miners in every country making it decentralized in a way it's like yeah it's highly centralized who is that miner but you're dealing with a these you're dealing with a bunch of other people who are just like you who aren't going to agree with you. So it's like a bunch of big dogs, and they, and the only reason you don't get by because you're a big dog and they're a big dog, and you kind of hold your ground. That's kind of how their their vision is. And I'm not sure what's going to work. Like I'm not even. When you think about it, you're like, man, that's a big ass block, and can it still hold all the transactions that you want? They're saying, you know, they, that's they're saying they can. I'm not one to get caught with my pants down. It doesn't cost it. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're on the come up, don't diversify. I wouldn't diversify. Do what you want. No, I Do what the fuck you want. I didn't diversify my way up. Like the rocket analogy. I was a rocket. I went straight up and then boom. If you can think of the boom, that's the diversifying. Right? I didn't boom down here because then it's hard to get way up here. And, you know, when you die, you diversify for everything. You know, you, you buy fucking shelters in the, in the, in the wild with food rations and clean water and shit like you diversify shit that you normally don't because why not i don't want to be caught without i have stocks i've well diversified so there's no reason not to buy something like bitcoin cash because it's completely different no one else is doing what they're doing really like with the terabyte blocks you know that's they've, they've tested it they said they tested it so you know just what it is like I, I see through all the bullshit i don't really care i'm gonna win i play to win everyone else can talk 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 principles went over over talk to me because you can't trust everybody and some people can be proven wrong so um and they're saying you know shard i was listening to vitalik saying you know sharding techniques could work um with big blocks just to make it easier to have a light client um verification that's all it basically is to be able to verify have a verify uh, you know fraud proofs available proofs you want to be able to catch somebody cheating right there in a the moment without being able to Download this ridiculous size big blockchain because the blockchain would just be absolutely huge. Um, can't really get too much into it because on the internet I wanted to show a couple of things, but whatever. I actually got Blockfolio for the first time ever. I know people find that hard to fucking believe. Uh, it just is what it is. Like talk about not looking at the scoreboard. What fucking scoreboard? The reason I got it was because I wanted to track my coins. That's all. And I had um, just that's basically what it is. I was finding it that I was losing track of coins because, um, you know, I'd, I'd log on to an old computer or an old ex, um, exchange account and I'd had some coins in there. It's like, oh, fuck, I forgot about this. And that's just, you know, can't happen. So um, got Blackfolio. I actually like it. It's pretty cool. Um, interesting. Very easy to use. And I came across somebody brought me um, Vivid. It's an ICO Vivid token. They're doing like a Blackfolio, but it's like a VR, AR. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, still, you know. Um, if I do invest, I'm not going to invest big, and it probably at the end. The reason being is um, they're they're really low. They haven't invest, They haven't, you know, they haven't raised a lot. They haven't raised shit. And I'm somebody who likes to. I like to. I don't mind taking a temporary loss. I don't mind digging deep because if I was to come in and be like, okay, what you need, get them where they need to get, so they can actually make the program, make the app that I think would be pretty cool. That's a, that's a definition of me digging deep. Like a lot of people are afraid to take a little bit of pain, a little bit of loss. Like, I don't give a fuck. Take me, put me in the red, burn my fucking ass until I, until I'm done, until I get there. I don't mind digging deep to grow a fruit tree. That's going to blossom later down because maybe if I don't come in, maybe I don't come in, I don't invest in this app, this ICO, whatever the fuck it is, doesn't ever come to fruition because they needed that money. They needed that last little oomph. That's a fruit tree that died before it ever grew. And yeah, I might take a temporary L because ICOs that aren't real popular, that don't raise a lot, usually don't come out real hot. They usually don't get on the Binance. That shit's expensive. But if I believe in the team and I see the vision and I think, hey, man, this could work, 
I'm, I'm digging for later on. I'm planting a seed. I don't give a fuck about temporary. Give me a temporary L. I'm not looking to sell. So what does it matter? I might just buy more. That's the only thing. Like if you're looking to sell your different apples and oranges, like you're, you're watching, I don't know. It's a, it's a different, that different mentality to me. I see this as the revolution. I don't want to be caught without somebody had a pretty good um, quote. They said, it's like getting a seat on the train and they just want to be on the train. And I'm not, they pay a little bit more. And somebody come on later with a cheaper ticket and they didn't have to wait as long. But as long as you're on that train before it leaves, that's a good analogy. Um, it's the way I kind of look at it. Just, you know, um, I'm thinking, you know, thinking 10 years ahead and then walking year back, year back. I have the vision because you have to have a belief. Like, it's like I, I have belief in cryptocurrencies. That's what, so then, then you can go all in. If you're, if you're always on the fence, if you never commit, if you're always like, well, I kind of believe. It's hard to go all in. You're never going to go all in. But if you're like, well, you know, I make a decision. That's where it is. And that's not for some people. Some people, you know, they live their lives differently. They want to dabble. They want to have a safe, whatever. You know, it's like, there's no wrong. There's no wrong here. I'm just talking about what I do. I have a decisive heart. And then I go all in. That's the only way I can get through life. I don't, I'm, I'm kind of humble. I don't believe that I'm talented or smart enough to just, to, to to you know to spread myself thin i believe i have to give everything i have on what's in front of me to get through the people who are smarter the people who have more talent people who have a better upbringing people who graduated harvard i feel like i came from the, the absolute bottom and then I, I i never lost sight of that i still fight like i'm at the bottom i still have to give it all i have to to what's in front of me um and you know, it just comes down to self-awareness. I'm not going to, I'm not going to dabble. When I do things, I do them one at a time and I put all I have into each one and it's just knocking them down like dominoes. Boom, boom, boom. So, you know, not, not really, you know, just try to pierce through the bullshit. Um, there's a lot of bullshit out there. I just kind of take in, if there's any kind of film or negativity in my life, I just kind of picture myself with a sword slicing through like a projector screen. And just like this light come out. It's a breathing technique. A couple of tips. Breathe in and out, especially right when you wake up. Breathe in and out. Listen to some some fast-paced, positive music What the, that you know. Nothing new. Something that's your favorite song, upbeat. What this is doing is going to get you singing in your head. You're going to start singing these words that you already know. It's like connecting to conveyor belts. It's like turning on the engine, the locomotive, right? Everything's... And then you can get going, right? Because you're reaching your brain's... It's forcing your brain to think, dig it in because you understand the word. It releases serotonin and the faster and more upbeat it is, you're connecting these wires in your head, right? And you're breathing. You need, need oxygen to do anything in life, including critical thinking. <sighs> Breathe in and out. Meditate to this fast music. Do that every fucking day when you wake up. It's so good. It's so great, right? Maybe one day don't do it, right? Just to have a little bit of yin and yang, but um, just little tips. Not much to talk about in crypto world. I mean, there's a lot to talk about. Don't get me wrong, but if you're talking about in terms of what what I'm doing, um, the journey has been the same. There hasn't been, you know, like I said, got a new Zen, unzen moved wax token. Anything new that comes up, I'll pop up like that. But um, yeah, a lot. Um, also, people who people who are asking me that you know, get an influx of people who want to be traders. I've already, you know, that's I've already picked the, my seventh. Not looking for anyone else. However, if you want to get an edge, you want to catch my eye, you want to catch some of my traders' eyes, because now I have a few traders who are looking for traders for me, right? Delegate. I delegate all that I can. Um, get on to No Limit Coin. Do the coin game. Build a reputation for yourself. Start winning a lot. And that's a good place to start, to hone your skills, to prove that, hey, you know, I can call these coins hour, eight hours, 24 hours, what you need, I got you. Right. There's a there's a lot of ways to get what you want if you if you're really hungry. It's the analogy, right? There's that there's that piece of fruit on the tree and you're hungry. But you can't reach it with your jump. You can't reach it. So you're just gonna quit and starve to death? Or is your ass gonna build a mound with your bare hands and build a dirt mound and climb on top of that mound and jump and get the apple with your dirty hands? Right. There, there, there's always a way to get what you want. If you just quit because it's not easy. Oh, I can't get it right now. I can't get it like this. You're going to have a hard time in life. Improvise. Um, kill here. Cheers. Peace.